guys and welcome back to Mommy Cooks Homemade. Today I'm going to go for a bit of nostalgia. I want to do a little mini series on um, classic school puddings. And this one is going to be a cornflake tart. I mean, my kids mention some puddings now and I've got no idea what they are. And then I tell them about what we used to have. Not a clue. And I think what they're missing out on. <laughs> so, yeah. Today I'm going to make an old school classic. And it was the cornflake tart. So we'll start with the pastry. You want 225 grams of plain flour. Into that, a tablespoon of caster sugar. Into that, 110 grams of cold butter. All I'm gonna do is bring this to a um, like a little breadcrumb consistency and then I've got one egg yolk with one tablespoon of cold water which I'll use this to bring this together okay So that's that, that's all you do for your dough. You could do this easily by hand, it's not going to take you more than a couple of minutes. So you just want and just roll it. smooth ball of dough nice and soft so I'm going to do stick this in a bit of cling film or a food bag and it needs to be refrigerated for half an hour and then I'll bring you back for the filling okay all right guys so when your pastry has been in the fridge you need to roll it out and fit it into a 20 centimeter tin and make sure you push the pastry up the sides then you need to Stab it all over. This is a, quite a soft pastry. And then put it back in the fridge, or I put it in the freezer personally, it's quicker, for another 10 minutes. Then you need to, when you put it back in the freezer, or fridge, preheat your oven to gas mark six. 20 minutes in the freezer or fridge, take it out, cover it with your parchment paper and baking beans and bake in the oven for 20 minutes. Take it out, take your paper and baking beans out and pop it back into the oven until it's cooked. Not really brown but just cooked and then we can start with the filling then. Okay. So gas mark six guys when you put it into the oven. Hi guys, so I'm just about to put mine in the oven. This is what you're after. Make sure it's well lined. Bang it in the oven, about 20 minutes. Take beads out, be beads, beans out, put it back in until it's ground and then we'll do the filling. Okay. Right guys, so I've just took mine out and it is on a baking tray. It'll help crisp up that bottom. Please don't attempt to put these into a plastic container or whatever they're stored in. I just simply take them off to a cereal bowl. Then get rid of that. See this I only want five more minutes. So that's all you're looking for with your crust. Because once the filling goes in, it goes back into the oven for 10 minutes or so. So, yeah. These are going to take, these baking beans will take over an hour to cool down before you can put them back into the containers. So I'll pop them up there, out of the way. The kids will be home soon. And I'll get the stuff out for the filling. Right, guys. 
I've done the base, took that out. All I'm going to do now is melt 100 grams of golden syrup and 75 grams, you can't even see, salted butter. If you don't want to use salted, you do not have to. If you don't want to use butter, you don't have to. You can use margarine. This is simply the syrup that coats, there we go, that will coat the cornflakes. And you only need to melt the butter, that's it. So there's no, no cooking skill required for this, it's easy. Sam, even you could do this. <laughs> oh dear. So, carry on melting, it's nearly melted. And all we're going to do with this is just cover the cornflakes with it. Mix it well, try not to break the cornflakes up. Tip it into the base and bake it for just 10 minutes. On a middle to low rack in the oven, so it doesn't burn. And we're just about there. And turn that off now. As easy as that. Is that too hard? Yeah. So, here's my base. I've already filled mine with some jam. You can fill yours with jam, you can leave it without. It's entirely up to you. I'm move that over there. Then I've got 225 grams of cornflakes. Does not have to be the branded one. You can use whichever kind you like. So don't feel that you have to go out and buy Kellogg's or anything like that. And all we're going to do is pour all of this all over them. And these are just going to get poured into that base on the top of that jam. Make sure they're well mixed. God, that smell already brings me back to school. <laughs> Make sure to push, to push them in, but try not to crush them up. escapees down the side that's fine I'll grab them in a minute you can see it's going to make a, a tall pie if you make this and you've got kids they're absolutely going to love this I think when we had this it was one of the few times I stayed in school to be perfectly honest how many of you out there used to go leg it at dinner time? Off school grounds, down to the chippy, get your Kona chips for 30p. <laughs> that sound ancient. God. I'm just going to dump them and pick them up. Yeah, I used to go off grounds usually at dinner time. And I know. In different parts of the country you, you eat different things but we used to either get a cone of chips and some naughty ziggies I don't smoke now but back in the day when you're trying to impress your school friends and all that rubbish we used to spend half on on lunch half on ziggies or clubbing together this was one of the few things that I would stay in school for and I don't know if anybody else out there remembers chocolate concrete with that pink custard <laughs> I always used to have mine dry I never used to have that custard but I do remember it right I've picked them all up they're all on there now oh she says and the other thing I don't know if you Everyone's school served the same sort of things, but we used to have um, a battered spam fritter in a bread bun. And I still have them now, our chip shop does them around here. I used to stay for those as well. 
So that's it guys, it's as simple as that. What we're going to do is bang it in the oven, not bang it, we're going to place. Place it in the oven for another 10 minutes to set it and then leave it to cool down. And that's it made, it's as easy as that. I mean this, just making this has took me back to my school days. So I will do a like a little series on the old days of school puddings. If you've got any suggestions from your area that you would like me to make, please, by all means, leave it down in the comments and I'll uh, have a look. So I'm going to pop this in and hopefully it sets up properly. Hi guys, so this is the finished cornflake pie. Talk about a blast from the past. So thank you very much guys. If you recreate it, please let me know down in the comments. Thanks again. Bye.